Right. Sometimes the same plant had both an edible use, a medicinal use, and, and also some ceremonial uh, aspects to it. One of the very common plants that is around for in the grasslands is Artemisia ludoviciana, which is uh, sometimes called mugwort. But this one is, uh, I know, used as a smudge for particularly illnesses due to exposure. Uh -huh. So that frostbite would have been treated with the smudge smoke from that. It was the Shoshones had excellent horses, and part of the reason was they kept them in good health. And this was one of the two plants that I know they used. These sages contain philandrine, which is a known uh, parasite killing drug. So we have uh, good confirmation with modern use. And we know they used these same uh, sages on humans for parasites also. I used to gather this plant for some Arapaho people, and they used it in sweats. They called it real sage. They hung it upside down in, in little strands around about head level in the sweat lodge to um, create a veil effect, and only invited entities could come through that veil. In the fall, we also have juniper berries turning blue. This is the creeping juniper. You can see there's green berries and there's blueberries. Blueberries are actually edible in small quantities. There's a spice, they're very flavorful. The thing about these green berries is they have so much of these volatile oils that they can be used as a solvent. Mashed between rocks and then put into boiling water for about 20 minutes. It's a really good shampoo. Now these are juniper, mm -hmm. juniper berries. And they will quit a headache, migraine headaches and stuff. Mm -hmm. It helps. Yeah. It helps. How uh, do you do that? You just chew them up. Yeah, we chew on About them. four or five of them. The Assiniboine uh, story on uh, this, they have learned from the Lakota. The diabetics, uh, he wanted uh, medicine for that. <laughs> and he wanted to be shown what it would be at, in the wild. After he fasted for a few days, then the beautiful buffalo woman, they call it, mm -hmm. come, up, come on, on him. And uh, she had a bunch of these berries in her hand. And when he went to get them, she disappeared. He took, he took some of that. He took that in his tea, and uh, he normalized his diabetes. Mm -hmm. And one other thing I know the juniper berries were used for by some people was for um, infections in the bladder, urinary bladder. Right. I realized that that has been used for urinary tract It, it has an infection. oil in it called juniperin that, that you know, it doesn't get digested by the intestine right. when, intestines when you eat it, and it goes right into the blood, and, and then it ends up being carried through the kidneys into the urinary system right. and it's still toxic to bacteria when right. it gets there. But a lot of medicinal plants are poisonous as well as medicinal. Right. And juniper berries, if you ate too much of them, could ruin your kidneys. Yeah, well, yeah. But in, in the right, if you know the right dose, like your people do. Right. It would help it. It would help it. <laughs> right. But you know the Indian people long ago uh, kind of went from one doctor to the other. Mm -hmm. And he specializes in the one mm -hmm. sort of root or plant that he has. Right. This is his medicine. So he keeps it. If you don't do him any good or improve any at all, mm -hmm. he'll say, go to right. so and so, right. you know, and try his medicine. Right. So he has a different kind of medicine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so he, he goes over there and, and maybe that'll help him, see. And that they're specialized. Right. And that's why. The young ones never learned. Yep. Only the descendants right. were given that medicine. Mm -hmm.